Yes, yes. So here we are. Mount Vernon Hip Hop Evolution. Number one, our first featured artist. We got Sam Swag and Clovis. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy. Sam Swag in the spot. We're very, very fortunate. I've been watching this brother for years, man. Years and years. Just do his thing. Just grow. Stay on his grind. And I sure. truly admire this brother. And I, I'm, I'm happy and honored to have him on the show. What's good, Sam Swagger? What's good, man, sir? What's good, Mr. G? You already know, man. I appreciate you. Oh, yeah, man. We up in here. It's, it's, it's important for us to build a platform for local artists, Mount Vernon, specifically Mount Vernon artists. Mount Vernon artists. I, I feel like Mount Vernon has not been shown any love in years. And there's so many just great poets, great artists doing their thing. So this podcast, Absolutely. this series is specifically to uplift um, up with you guys and girls, and uh, we're, we're honored to, to start out with with uh, Sam sure, Swagger, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So tell I'm, us. I'm, I'm proud of you, and I'm 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 glad you you made this platform too, man. You know, we needed this for sure. Absolutely. I'm I'm here to serve, man. I'm here to to, to you know do what I can to, to promote you guys and get everybody to the next level. So you got a new album out. Yes, sir. Gelato uh, Moscato. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've been bumping it all day. Actually, past couple of days, man. I love it, brother. I love the work. Tell, Thanks, tell us a little bit about it. Tell us a little bit about your new album. All right. Um, basically, I've had like a couple songs. Like I had like I just like when I work in the studio. Like I work with a lot of artists. So basically, I'm technically in friendly competition with my artists like you know what i'm saying because they're coming in every day recording new music and as far as me being an artist if i just have the same old music that i've been playing you know what i mean it gets pretty old fairly quickly you know what i mean if they got all this new great music to play you know so it's just great that i'm fortunate to have like you know dope artists to work with and i had a series of you know singles and um people like i always let all my artists hear them and people were telling me man you just got to drop it like drop the music like what are you holding on to it for you know what i'm saying so i came to a point where all right you know let's drop it and we're gonna call it gelato and moscato because uh like as far as artists go that i look up to Wiz khalifa like you know what i'm saying being like oh, a yeah. super stoner type esque artist he came out with uh a groundbreaking project called uh, Cushion Orange Juice. So Gelato and Moscato is basically my modern day flip on that. You know what I'm saying? And just paying homage and, you know, it's just a little bit of my life, a little bit of older music from 2014 to now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mixed in with the, with the new. So Absolutely. put that out in the midst of everything that's going on <laughs> with this oh, yeah. COVID thing and everything. You know? Crazy 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 this a change again covid change again uh and definitely shout out to Wiz Khalifa man I appreciate all his work and another sure. game changer man game changer game changer he did it all on his own you know what I'm saying Facts. absolutely man absolutely so how do you feel about like uh all the current events taking place um it's revolutionary times you know what I'm saying what's your take on it yeah man I'm honestly I'm proud to be a part of it in a sense, you know what I'm saying? But it's sad that it's, that it has to come to what it's come to. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, for us to come together and everything like that. But, um, you know, I, I, I appreciate the fact that more people are becoming more aware and starting to dive more into knowledge about what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So that's really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't really, I'm not mad at the riots, you know, specifically. There are certain ones that, you know what I'm saying, they don't really have anything to do with what we're standing for. People are just kind of going out there and just trying to get whatever they want, trying to get. But at the same time, we got to understand where it's stemming from. You know what I'm saying? Why people are so angry and why people are doing what they're doing. A lot of people are quick to judge, you know what I mean? And just be like, oh, that's wrong. But don't understand why. Like, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that, 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 I'll totally hear what you're saying. It makes a lot of sense. And, uh, I, you know, listening to your album, I, I definitely hear 
a lot of stories, man. Tell me about the story. Where does that come from? How, what's the process for including the stories into your songs? Well, like I said, uh, you know, when I first started rapping, it was mostly everything was around weed. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Because I was trying to, like, I was looking up to it so bad. It's so, you know what I mean? I was just like, I, I'm going to do this. But then it came to a point where, you know, it was repetitive for me and I was like I wasn't really getting the same type of uh like impact you know what I mean every time I I dropped music you know it was still about weed 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 it wasn't about like why weed. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying so then and then I started working with you know a dope artist that is sitting right next to me Cor Fargo you know that's you what's up Cor Fargo yeah. yes me. sir peace brother peace this you got a good guy, shoot, sir yeah, sir. You can definitely interview him. You know what I'm saying. But I gotta say that you know what I'm saying. Once I started recording him more, we started actually connecting. He had the pain and the story, like you know, like how uh, a artist like Meat Mill could give you that that pain and story. You know what I'm saying, an anthem like Bob. Like he was coming in with that like consistently. Like you know what I'm saying. So it started to kind of rub off a little bit, and you know, in a sense, it kind of worked both ways because I was on a melody Bob. So his story and pain transferred to my side and like the melody side of what I do kind of transferred a little bit to his side. You know what I'm saying? So our music, a lot, a lot. oh, a, a lot, you know what I'm saying? So it just, it coincides so beautifully. And right now that's how I was able to incorporate those stories because I'm like, nah, like I gotta really explain to these people like why and really relate to these people and make, make it relatable, you know, make the music just relatable. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I definitely hear that, man. Like, but just go, listening to your albums over the years, I, I definitely hear more of that pain in there. You know, it gives a different a different uh, perspective of, of realness to the material. And, and uh, I, I appreciate your, your evolution, man. I appreciate Thanks, your man. evolution. Definitely. Definitely. I appreciate you for tuning in, too, and, and you know, watching, too, supporting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What would you say... Um, is something that did not work out for you in your career and like what you learned from it you know just to pass oh. it on to the younger generation i'm so glad you asked man like i have so many experiences like oh you know i own the studio like you know what i'm saying it's not only that i'm an artist but i own a studio so i work with so i work with over 200 artists since i've opened this this, this studio you know wow. so like i'm gonna it's like it's so many it's so many aspects to it right so i've had so many experiences whereas i'm not even gonna really say names or anything and try to tarnish anybody's name yes. but i've worked with artists and people know who it is seeing, you know seeing the pictures and seeing where I, who i was with it through the years i had a crazy team like you know what i'm saying like when i say i had the team if we if anybody was gonna blow it was gonna be us you know what i'm saying because i had all the littest people from mount vernon on my team wow. you know what i'm saying i'm talking about people that own clothing lines people that are just influential period you know people that came fresh out of jail and just went straight into the studio like my guy cord he, that's why he's still with me you know what i'm saying okay, okay. but certain people are not no longer with me now because of these opportunities and how the egos got to you know what i mean they started to overpower and overshadow things like i had the team man like you know what i'm saying like when i say a vibe of like a rockefeller like a, a, a the locks like a like all the greatest groups that were ever made like i had it and it was birthed right in my studio when we wow. were in the basement and you know we had many opportunities when Suze was still running we wow. were performing there like you know heavily like people would know like they knew the music people were going crazy the strippers were going crazy and you know the artist was in there with a lot of money you know what i'm saying that those are my guys i'm with them you know that was the only reason i even went to the strip club <laughs> like Absolutely. you know but it was for promotion and supporting the vibe like you know and where it, it hit the fan was when it came when the opportunities came nobody didn't stick it all the way through people started thinking that they had it already because we got wow. the opportunity we had an opportunity to open up for rich homie Kwan and wow. young thug when they were really in there like prime and wow. what messed that up was because people didn't go to 
rehearsals on time. Mm-hmm. People didn't even keep me in the loop enough to so I can make sure these things even happen. You know what I'm saying? And they got egotistical. So the manager was able to, she was going to fly everybody out and wow, everything was paid big. for. But they blew it because they thought they could do it on their own because they get money. They do this and they do that. They don't need nobody. And that's the attitude that stops us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So it's many, oh, my fault. There's many situations like that that kind of occurred. And it's no hate, but I learned from it because it was like, I was more so relying on everybody else because they already had the buzz. They already had everybody from the city looking at them like, oh, they got it. They're about to blow. They're, they're, they're doing numbers. Like, you know what I'm saying? And um, I started to realize I got to rely more so on myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? And the people that I know that are showing me more action than just talk. Like, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so what, what keeps, man, that's you, that's a lot of info that you gave a lot to, lot to um, learn from. Um, What keeps you going? What do you find has kept, why, what made you stick with it? Because you could have been like, you know what? I'm selling everything. I'm done. That's a fact. What, what, what what made you say, nah, I'm, I'm staying. I have a family to feed, like literally, you know what I'm saying? I have a son. He's five years old. Just graduated kindergarten yesterday. Congrats on and, that. Congrats. You know, I have to build an empire for him. You know what I mean? Like, I have to. Like, my father was fortunate enough to help me build the studio and build my empire. So I want to be fortunate enough to help build my son's empire. And not only that, but before even getting rich or whatever the case is, like, I literally want to put on for my family first. Like, you know, that's the first step. Like, if my mom is good, pops is good, my sister is good, my bro is good, those are the people that surround me every single day. If they're good, then my life is good. Then I can, you know, elevate and and work, you know, upward from there. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's really what keeps me going because I'm literally, I've watched this system that was made, bro, break everything apart like you know what i'm saying that 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 surrounded my life like you know what i'm saying whether it's best friends whether it's my parents and their marriage whether it's my family i watch it all break apart because of the system because of finances because mm. of the fact that we have to do what we have to do to eat first then we care about who we care about after like you know what i'm saying so it's like i'm watching it all crumble if i don't yeah. do anything right now it's over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's literally all the drive I need to keep going. Like I can't stop. There is no option. Like, I can't stop. Yeah. That's yeah. Absolutely. I get it. That's that's a lot. You got a lot on you, brother. And uh, yeah. and I definitely you, you be in my thoughts. Definitely be praying for you. What do you think is missing in in the Mount Vernon scene right now? What does the Mount Vernon scene need to like get to the next level? All we need is somewhere that we can like i like i, I said in um Jazion's post the other day oh yeah yeah like yeah. literally literally i i've been like over the time like i've been literally planning things and thinking and observing and analyzing and just you know comparing and contrasting and figuring it out right and literally all it is is we just need a platform like what you created right here is a great start but now we need like yep. an actual building like an mm-hmm. actual place actual venue slash like you know what i mean something where like you know like how we have like the staples center and they, it can be the basketball it could be a, a concert it can be so many things we need something like that to where we can host our own you know what i'm saying so when other artists and other people come in they know where they can come to and it has to be safe. It has to be yeah. set up security crazy. You know what I mean? Set up to where they can't get robbed. They can't get tried because time and time again, every time we had an artist come here, they got tried. They got, you know, either pressed to try to get robbed or whatever the case was. Wow. We need something that can stop that so that they can come here and want to be here. We have to give them a reason and want to actually stay here and want to build this shit up. Because people, even though we got a Denzel and a, you know, Felicia Rashad, 
we got a lot going on here. They're not going to want to stay around here for too long. Like, you know what I mean? They're going to drop whatever bag they got to drop. They're going to deal with whatever people, smile, take whatever pictures they got to take, and they're going to move and go on back to their Hollywood life. You know what I'm saying? But we need a platform that we can call our own. We can have our own plaques. We can have our studio. We can have our venue. We can have our shops, our own black businesses. Like, Mm -hmm. we got to do it ourselves. Like, I'm all for it. Absolutely. 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 Ownership, black ownership. Black ownership. Because you know what? We've been watching people in Mount Vernon take over for years, whether it was Italians, whether it was the Jews, whether it was the Indians and the Arabs. They got a system. We got to make one for our own. You know what I'm saying? So that we can keep this money really flowing and staying within our own. I you know what it. I'm saying? That's the type of time I'm on right now, Mr. G. I get I'm it. not going to hold you. I'm I on some it. revolutionary, like, yeah, we do the music and stuff, but <laughs> it's really to, to make things realistically happen here. Absolutely. That's necessary. That's necessary. I, I totally get it, and I agree with you 100%, and, and I appreciate your energy, and, and uh, you know, that's a message we got to continue to put forth. You know, it's, it's, ownership is very important. And, uh, and enterprise. And so we have a lot more um, freedom and liberty and leverage. Um, Absolutely. Um, that's what's up, man. So you got some songs, some, some little songs. something you want to do for us, or you want to share with us tonight? Sure. I mean, um, so I mean, I could start with what, like, you said you was listening to the album. So, like, what was your, what, what tracks did you kind of like gravitate more man. to that you? Like I could play those first, and then I'll go off with what I like. You know, man, I like I like Neverland a lot. Um, okay, I like. Um, I'm pulling up the list right here. Um, frauds is dope. Great stories and frauds. Ah, great lyricism. Yeah. Um. Uh, try me. Um. Mm. Vegas flow is dope too. I mean, it's it's. I yeah, like them yeah. all, but those like okay, it's not it's, it's you're right there. Like I, Vegas flow is my is my favorite. Like you know what I'm saying. Like one of the favorites. Like frauds is definitely one of the heavy hitters. I like too. I, I agree. Know. I agree. Um. All right. So yeah, we're gonna start. We're gonna start off with. Let's start off with. Um. Let's we'll start off with frauds. Let's do that. Swag. All this money, all this designer, all these whips out my garage, all these new friends, new bitches, new fans, some of them be frauds. I don't want no ties with fake vibes, niggas tryna fuck my bra. No sobriety in our society, so a nigga gotta go hard. All this money, all this designer, all these whips out my garage, all these new friends, new bitches, new fans, some of them be frauds. I don't want no ties with fake vibes, niggas tryna fuck my bra. No sobriety in our society, so a nigga gotta go hard. All these these bodies dropping left and right, these murders going unsolved Got these kids trying to violate you cause they try to live above the law How you let Zimmerman live after what he done did to Trayvon Even if it's cold outside, you hesitate to put your hoodie on Nigga, I'm straight, can follow me for two blocks straight It's not you I hate, just hate the system and the rules I make The same rules I break and try to flip the script on us, yeah That's why we hand it up with them semis tucked, yeah Just trying to stay low, had to get another load Wrapped up on my O's, had to give some to my woes Shout out Bori, cause he brought me Tucker home OG, had to smoke a spliff, get in my zone all the OGs that'll end up locked up in jail Freedom. Trying to lead Freedom. by example, show these kids they can't prevail yeah. Give them all the jewels, make sure they focus on themselves yeah. Don't try yeah. to follow these rappers, end up dead or all in a cell money, All this designer, all these whips out my garage All these new friends, new bitches, new fans, some of them be frauds I don't want no ties with fake vibes, niggas trying to fuck my bra No sobriety in our society, so a nigga gotta go hard All this money, all this designer all these whips out my garage All these new friends, new bitches, new fans Some of them be frauds I don't want no ties with fake vibes Niggas tryna fuck my bra No sobriety in our society So a nigga gotta go hard
You feel me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Realness, it's man. It's crazy, too, because that's a great song to even start off with because of what we just we were just talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm trying to accomplish with, you know, with Mount Vernon and the things that's even going on in this world with Zimmerman and, you know what I'm saying? And Trayvon Absolutely. and all these, you know, cops killing us. Like, mm-hmm. it's a very important topic. You know what I'm saying? Like, the kids don't really have much out here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, so we got to get these music programs back. We got to get, you know, you already know I was talking to you about that before. Like, I want to get a, a, a program where I could teach the kids what's going on. Like, what I do, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? Because if we had that, kids are already trying to rap. Like, I'm recording That's true. kids, too. Like, you know, 13, 14-year-olds, maybe even younger sometimes. Like, you know. Oh, yeah. And, you know, like, you brought your, your classes all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> You all know, the time. so, you feel me? It's like we got to give them something because right now it's getting very, very dire. Like it is like serious. Like, you know what I'm saying? These kids have nothing, no parents, no love, no, no guidance. Like, like I said in the song, like the OGs are either dead or locked up. And even if they're out here, they're not really putting the kids on any real game. Like, you know what I'm saying? On how to really get money legally and how to do this stuff and stay out the streets give them a place like what I do. I try to give these kids a place to stay out of the streets. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? So that's, that's, that's what that's all about. <laughs> Absolutely. I definitely feel that energy from that song too, man. All the, all of the, the connections you're making, the Trayvon line is dope. Like it's, it's, Appreciate it's, that. it's a total package. And uh, mm-hmm. I hope that uh, everybody hears it and everybody receives it. Sure. Um, and you know applies that to what what they trying to do because there's a lot of great messages in there a lot of great messages you know it's definitely a go-to song on the album for me you know what i'm saying it's kind <laughs> of a, kind of a no fast forward album but if i had to pick a couple out that's definitely one of them definitely. I, I appreciate that a lot like let's see um i'm not gonna lie i like flights to la a lot and it's because like i like i literally wrote that song on my way back from la <laughs> like you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying like i literally went mm-hmm. to la i was on my way back and i'm like writing i had to beat and everything in my phone looking out the window i'm like yeah i'm writing nice. song. hey that's, that's a nice that's a nice way to write you know what i'm on saying plane. It's, just, it's, it's just one of those vibes it's just like it's so real it's just so authentic it just came together perfectly like you know what i mean Absolutely. Yeah, that's a Run great ra- Damn, VG, you made this. Loose soul going crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Swag star empire. Yeah. Swag. Uh. Yeah. Flights to LA, my life is great. Face me a split just to start up my day. Y'all focused yeah. on bitches, I'm focused on cake. Got a new bitch, she gon' run up a plate. Back uh. cause you broke, I can't relate. Ooh, these diamonds, they wet like a lake. Ooh, back come to me, I don't chase. Ooh, she tryna fuck for an eighth. Yeah. Uh. For my city, I put on feeling revolutionary. Feel like I'm the chosen one. Stacks in my Marys, I don't do no Louis Vuitton. Prada or it's Gucci, got a beamer on my arm. Ooh. Niggas be capped, telling them lies in your rap. All of my niggas is strapped. You can get hit with the pump. Ra, ra. This ain't no asthma attack. A lot of my niggas is locked up right now. Cause they wasn't a rat. Had to leave some bitches alone. Cause they was fucking for racks. Yeah. I don't care if you get money off snap. I just made like 30 bands just to smoke and spin a track. Y'all be talking about the trap, but your mind is really trapped. Y'all be worried about 12 when your man is a whole rat. Yeah. My 
city I put on Feeling revolutionary Feel like I'm the chosen one Packs of that gelato About to smoke like Cheech and Chong In the club, y'all make it drizzle Me and my team cost thunderstorms Ooh. Flex to LA, my life is great Fix me a split just to start up my day Y'all focused on bitches, I'm focused on cake Got a new bitch, she gon' run up a plate Back cause you broke, I can't relate Ooh. These diamonds, they wet like a lake Ooh. Back come to me, I don't chase Ooh, she tryna fuck for an A Flex to LA, my life is great Face me a spliff just to start up my day Y'all focused on bitches, I'm focused on cake Got a new bitch, she gon' run up a plate Back cause you broke, I can't relate Ooh, these diamonds, they wet like a lake Ooh, back come to me, I don't chase Ooh, she tryna fuck for an A <laughs> it's crazy. It's real out here in these streets. These women will do almost anything for some good stuff. Oh man, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, like, I, you know, as I listened to that song, I thought about um, just how quickly time goes, right? Like, I'm thinking of high school, like Sam Swagger in high school. And right. like what was popping back then, you know, like right. we had the soldier boy was popping. We had the stinky leg. We had, yep, we had all, the jerk. Yeah, the all jerk. Right. And fast forward, you know, uh, so many Drake, so many artists came along and today. And I guess my next question for you is um, um, longevity. What, what do you think it takes to have longevity because it's like like one of the people i really appreciate is beyonce because she's been through so many eras like so, so many eras and like so like many. so many other people who have come and gone were only good for a single and you're still around like what's what what do you think is the secret to longevity i think you always just have to it's all about work ethic you know what i'm saying so if you are constantly Put it like you know you're constantly it's like muscle memory you're like you're constantly working you're constantly working on your craft and you're never really too comfortable with it like and you're able to adapt to the situation that like those are all like keys that you really need like you got to be able to adapt to situations you got to be able to be versatile enough to be able to get away with it authentically like you know what i'm saying and i think that's what was my thing like how i was able to do it it's like any song that I listen to at the time that like that I'm just like listening to, I can't get enough of. I end up making something that I, you know, that I can like play either before or after it. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, I don't know if I do that like purposely. It just happens organically that way. It's not even to say that I'm taking anybody's style or element. It's just mm -hmm. what happens because I want to make sure that I'm not kind of being put in a box. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to sit in any like genre or any category like with any artist i will have to be like oh i gotta go back to the drawing board and try to do a g herbals type bob or do a, like a little baby type bob like i already kind of do everything so i'm ready for whatever <laughs> you know what i'm saying like and i think that's what b like beyonce does like she's just like she has jay-z mm -hmm. as well like in her yeah. corner that can always keep her so in tune with the streets and you know what I'm saying? Like, like for the, for the guys, this guy's side of things. So she already got the female. She's been running the oh, females yeah. for, for years. So yes. right now I think what she's doing is she's starting to incorporate more of the streets and more of the rapping and more of the, you know what I'm saying? Like a little bit more masculine side of Beyonce because that's what's happening in the world. Like females are stronger. Females are a little bit more aggressive. Females are, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm whatever the case is mm -hmm. so she's able to just yeah so when it comes to the songwriting piece um specifically the lyrics do you have any uh advice for the younger generation when it comes to ways that you found um make your lyrics come together more naturally mm. that's very that's a good question Never really thought about it. Because you know I, I find so so many I find so many times like the students that I teach, they'll yeah. just they'll just either run out of stuff to talk about or they'll begin to kind of talk in circles about like a very limited group of topics. Right. And yes. I've always been very curious when I speak to songwriters and creators, um, 
if there's a part of their process that they found to help them keep it keep it fresh and keep it moving in terms of their con their lyrical content and what they're saying right. the rhyme scheme i think what it is as well is um a lot of when people first start off rapping they don't really try to talk about their what's really going on in their life like you know what i mean like them really they're more so trying to portray a certain type of persona that they already glorify and see like you know you know what I'm saying like all the top artists that do all the that drop all the foreign names, all the foreign cars, all the foreign mm -hmm. clothes. That's like the easiest thing for a new artist to do because that's what they already hear, that's what they're already programmed to. Mm -hmm. So how I would relay it is I tell them to just live, live life, like just literally live. Like there are gonna be a lot of things in your life that you can talk about and make a song about rather than trying to make something up that isn't real you know what i'm saying Absolutely. or you know even if they are rapping about their lives like let's say like you said they, they might you know talk in circles so even if they do follow that advice and they still end up talking damn who the fuck is what i'm sorry <laughs> you good you good brother but um where am I? okay sorry about that oh, but um what i was saying is damn talking in circles so you're saying like yeah like if they yeah so if they start if they take that advice and they still talking in circles you know you just basically gotta try to take a different approach and talk you know just talk about something else like you know what i mean this that's not the only thing that's happening you know what i'm saying like as bad as it is like you know now you gotta try to just focus on something else that that correlates with that beat like I was talking to somebody yesterday on Facebook. They was like, they wish that um, that I was around when they were, you know, heavily into the music scene. Mm -hmm. So, and they was like, but their thing was they had like a lot of writer's block issues. Yeah. And I was just yeah. like, man, all you really need is like a good, first of all, the beat itself has to be good enough to where it's, you know, it's resonating with you to where like you just got to talk about something like you know what i'm saying you got to talk about your life you got to talk about something that correlates with that beat like it has to like there's always that beat that just pulls it out of you you know what i'm saying so first and foremost you got to find the right producers you got to find the right beat that does that like for me that's how a lot of my songs came out like i didn't have to sit here and force it to happen like oh i gotta make space i gotta make neverland i gotta make the cost i gotta make frauds like i heard the beat and it just hit me and i was just like ooh this is what it is. This is what this song is going to, this is the topic for this song. This is the vibe for this song. And you know what I mean? It's just like, everybody has their process. Absolutely. So just, and, you know, and like yeah. towards when, what made you realize that the song was ready to release? Like what, what makes a song feel done to you? Cause like I find the other issue um, is they, a lot of folks have, computers full of great music that they just never because they never feel it's real but it's ready but what makes you say all right this is ready to release well yeah like i said so i have like you know i, I have like trusted loyal people like you know around me like you know for Far, you know for fargo and like you know i have like a lot of people that i let listen to my songs before i drop it it's usually like whoever I'm recording at the time, honestly. Okay. Like I just like I'll just do it like you know like I just let them hear. I'm like yo, I, I'm working on something. Let me know what you, do. you know, let me know what you think. And I'll get nine times out of ten, I'll get people be like, nah, that shit's fire. You need to drop that. Like you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And I just do just that. Sometimes you know they let me know, I right, you could fix this or whatever, or you could you know what I mean? Go back at it, like do that take over whatever the case is and i'll take heed of what they say so it's really not that hard for me anymore like before i was the same way though especially as producers like if you're a producer that's like your life like you have like a whole set of beats that you're not even trying to let anybody hear because you mm -hmm. feel like it's not ready yet you know what i'm saying so i came from that life but i've noticed like all the artists that i was working with even by accident if something was to play they'd be like nah let that play bro I'd be like, oh, okay. And then they'll be like, nah, that shit crazy, bro. That shit fire. And a lot of females, females, 
is the key. Females will tell you the truth. Mm. They will not lie. They won't just tell you they like it just because they like you. They will let you know you need to pack it up. Mm-hmm. ASAP. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely, I hear what she's saying, man. I, I understand the value of having uh, that circle of folks around you that, that are going to give it to you honest, you know, and give you some good constructive criticism. That, that, that makes a lot of sense now. And I know that a lot of folks who listen to this podcast, watch it, hear it, um, that's going to be super, super uh, helpful. And for some reason, I don't know why I'm thinking about OZs and OEs and the oh, cover. Classic. Back, yeah, classic oh, back in, a, in the joints that you released on uh, uh, Dat Piff. Yeah, it's like uh, murder. Welcome to Murderville. Yeah, yeah. Well, nah, that's a great one. I had to, that's yeah, a great I had one. Like, the dude that be praying all around Mount Vernon. That's the cover. <laughs> yes, yes, I remember that. That was a great idea. Great cover. Great cover. So we definitely gonna post all that up for everybody to check it out, listen to it. You're on the playlist. You know, saying Gelato Moscato's on the playlist. Entire album. Um, yes. I'm gonna keep it's that everywhere. Up. All y'all got to do is just type in Sam Swagger and I'll pop up. I'm everywhere. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what's up, brother. Any other songs you want to perform for us? Yeah, man. I'm going to play. Oh, yeah. Loving the music. Oh, I got to play. I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to play something for the culture Mm. right now. Like, you know, for right now. Like, Mm -hmm. someone just did. I need y'all to hear this right quick. Oh, it's a new joint? Yeah. Not on the album? Not on the album. It's gonna oh. be on my next it's gonna be on my next project. The oh. uh it's called Rona Season. Whoa, preview. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is special. Ain't nothing funny cause shit could get ugly when you gotta live up in NYC I was raised up in Mount Vernon and my whole city gon' ride for me Most of my niggas gon' slide for me, even got niggas that's really gon' die for me Cause I always do right by my people, so why the fuck y'all try to line me? I'm feeling like niggas be dusted, could never be trusted, uh I'm feeling like I go hard for my city, put nothing above it, uh I'm feeling like I'm smoking a half a zip just so a nigga could sleep at night I'm feeling like my city is lost, I'm ready to move out to take a flight Feel bad for these little niggas, they don't know how to pick a fight Was born in the lions, then playing with fireman You step outside, you get hit with that fireman Wait till it's dark, all you see is a spark, you get hit with that iron man huh. Lucky I was sipping, caught a nigga slipping Pushed that nigga back, had to get my distance Little niggas tripping, eating where they shit Y'all just going outside, huh? Little nigga go get you a bag Would've gave you that eighth if you asked, huh? Like what? But it's Gucci though, I know where y'all live Just in case you thought you was low Y'all really some kids, put the blick to my ribs Now I hope you're ready for the smoke I hate I even got a ticket there We still getting killed by the po-po Couldn't even call the pope. po And the stew had a hole, oh Niggas tried to kick down my door And I didn't even have my polio But the universe on my side They didn't get in, time was moving slow My guardian angel was on my side Soon be the blick, he about to be on go I am a star, you gon' need a scope I made the wave, you gon' need a boat Don't wanna hear nothing about nothing, y'all niggas be bugging my shooters on sickle mode Bullets flash, talking homicide Don't wanna hear all oh, I didn't know But he didn't know Successful robbery, oh yeah Unsuccessful Ain't nobody stopping me, oh no Nah Don't let all the choppers sing, oh yeah Cause niggas was trying me Yes. How do you feel it. about that one? That, that was it. I had to I had to address a situation that recently happened. You know, that's all that was. You know, it's wow. just not even just what happened personally with me, but just what's happening in the world. Period. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? Yes, that's a lot of great, a lot of great messages in there. A lot of great content, and, I, and it ha- had me thinking of uh, this this story. I'm sure you got a lot of stories to tell. It just shows 
and mm -hmm. you know studio sessions just yep. one come to mind like it's in uh one of your all-time crazy stories of like i can't believe this happened um let me see mm. Mm. uh when i met i'm not even gonna lie when i met freaking sway sway in the morning sway wow like that was that was definitely one of those situations for me like because you know shout out to my guy Sherrod, you know rod the producer oh yeah you know when we yeah. had the mess hall like the mess hall was honestly like the closest thing we had to like a platform in mount wow. vernon where we had a studio with many a whole bunch of studios in there and they had a venue and outside the building just had like graffiti art just beautiful art even on the inside, it was beautiful paintings and beautiful art everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So, but they broke that shit down, man. Like they, that what shit happened? is no longer. Yeah, it I, seems I don't like even, that was the perfect thing that needs to be bro, in that city. It it was the perfect thing, man. Wow. And they broke it down. They're about to build it up to some probably some apartment complex or something else. And you know, it's because that we don't own it. Like we don't, yeah. we don't own the shit. You know what I'm saying? So that brings me back to what I was saying earlier. Like if we had something like that, where it's a building, we mm -hmm. could have many things in there. Not only just for recording, but we got a venue where we could host our artists. You know what I'm saying? We got like graffiti. We got just art. Like the culture itself is there. You, you know what I'm saying? Like we'll have our own plaques. We'll have our own like black owned business the golden lines like you know whoever sells oh, yeah. what you know whoever like does weed you know for the females you know what i'm saying like we can have it set up as a one-stop shop man like yeah i get it and, and you know what's interesting with like when you traveling seeing different cities and set up in situations uh in las vegas there's a part of it that is uh, kind of like a crate city. So it's like, you know, the back of a truck, of a truck. Um, it's those, and it's just stacked up, like maybe three high, and it just kind of goes around like a U. And all they did was they just turned them into shops. So, you know, it's a great low-cost idea to create um, any sort of like communal center, any sort of either, you know, cultural stuff, shops, like like, we need a comedy yeah, spot. A we need too. like there's a lot of things. Exactly. You know? like, we, yeah. we need it, oh, bro. Like yeah. we need to think too. about it. You don't even have our own movie theater, bro. Right. Like yeah. we gotta go elsewhere to go to the movies. Yeah. We gotta go yeah. elsewhere yeah. to get yeah. nice clothes yeah. and the nice yeah. this and the nice that. Yeah. Why don't we have any of it here? Yeah. I've been here for over 15 years, man. Over 15 years, and I haven't. Seen not one, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know, I'm like, we and when you know, when I was a kid, we had it, we, it was good, like, we had the music, we had it, we had band aid, we had at least, you know, something, you know what I'm saying? That's no longer like, it's just like, you know. Yes. We still have you, thank God. You know, I, I'm, <laughs> happy to, I'm happy to do what I can. I'm happy to do what I can. Yeah, yeah. A lot of development oh, needs to take place, and, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, doing what I can to, to make all that happen. Um, yeah, so it's, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. I didn't even really finish the whole situation about the soil. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I'd be going elsewhere, you know. You and me both. But basically. Basically, my boy Sherrod had set up a whole, uh, like, it was a pop-up shop that night. So, you know, he had performances, like, with artists, and I even got to perform a little bit, you feel me? Nice. But I really came through with sound, you know, me and my pops. Like, we got the sound, we got the big speakers, we got the Serato, the mic situated. So, we came through with all that. And, um, and basically, he had a couple of people like my boy Diostato come through with his uh, clothing line while they stretch my bands. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, he had him there with all his clothes and he made me a nice little couple, you know, much that night. So he had a couple people, like well known people, share, like even Big Pun Son was there that night. You know what I'm saying? So we had a lot going on and 
they didn't really have a DJ DJ for the whole situation. Like certain artists had their own DJ, but they didn't really have a DJ. So I had to actually DJ the shit, and I don't even DJ. You know, busy man, you were like, busy you man. Know? So and there's a lot of pressure on the DJ, man, to pick the right bro, song to keep, to keep the, the crowd going right. It's a lot of pressure. Oh, my God. Unsung heroes. Oh, and that shit got packed up, bro. So I'm like, me, it's just me and my pops behind the fucking Serato. I'm just wow. sitting there. I'm like, and then that night, they had Sway come through. You know what I mean? Dope. To show love because, because they did, it was Sherrod. He was doing a tour with his artist, Oswin Benjamin. Nice. You know what I'm saying? So they had Sway involved in the whole situation, helping them. Like he, they believe, like Sway believes in what they got going on. And my boy Rod, he always keep me, you know, super close, like in tune with whatever's going on. So as soon as he told me about this, the opportunity, I was like, forget about it. I'm there. It's done. We're there. And when I met Sway, I was just like, shit, I gotta take a picture. You feel me? I'm oh, like, this yeah. is like, oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And he was like, you know, we can get you up there whenever. You know what I'm saying? He's so, one of the hip hop monuments, man. He's he's mm -hmm. he's very very significant contributor. And you know, a part of your story is social business because it's your like really like your first night in front of a crowd, DJing, DJing. behind a Serato. And Sway and I had walks a performance in. for the, these people. And too, he had a performance, know? right? You know? So people walking in. And they 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 expecting like top the, top shit <laughs> top, topness and you know but it just shows how you gotta you gotta be on point and you just gotta you gotta keep up with the grind. It's, that's a great example of show business right there. It like really they they don't know they don't know if you've been doing it for five years, ten years, whatever. They don't care. They just they just wanted to be popping. It's true, and I'm not gonna lie. That experience was one of the best because that's why I even brought it up because. When I say it was like the mixing pot of producers, artists, clothing designers, like anybody who does anything, entrepreneurs are all in the same room. Mind you, we have a back room where everybody can smoke in, just one room. Wow. So we got everybody in there jam packed. Some people are playing music, we playing beats. I'm playing beats, I'm playing music. You know what I'm saying? In front of all these people, I don't even know. Just random artists. and. The coolest thing, one of the artists I used to watch on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Wow. He was yeah. in like regular, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, no fucking way. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's and dope. we that just smoking, catching a vibe, like we just like, you know what I'm saying? This is so rev regular and authentic. Like I'm I playing the song from me and Core that we did that was just raw. And, the, and like everybody was like, yo, pull that back. Bring that back, like nah, right. what? And it wasn't even mixed yet, like you know what I'm saying. So it's wow. like those type of vibes is what you don't really get, like you know. What yeah, I mean? yeah. That raw, like, cause everything is so much nowadays. You go somewhere and a lot of it is just off the radio. You know what I'm saying? So you heard it, you know what it is. But like just right. the 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 rawness of undiscovered talent. You know, to hear a song, to not have a have a song dictated to you. You know, you hear you hear the song five times, ten times, and after a while you're like, okay, this is all right. I can tolerate this song. But versus to hear a song the first time and it's just a great song, you just love it. You don't even know the artist ain't never heard it ever before. And that's that's something that's missing. That's that's something that I would love to see more on radio and you know at the parties you know i understand the business model but right. i think it's time for a new business model Honestly. right i am with you on that and we got to understand like we got to see like I, like i told you i've done like a lot of observing and analyzing and like when we look at like all of like the greatest acts they had a platform where they could host their music like mm -hmm. the migos had like a magic city in atlanta you know what i'm saying like that was literally a lot of people like platform if, if the strippers like it if the strippers are dancing to it if people are throwing money to it it's a go it's a hit like people are literally you know what i'm saying and, and then it's programming as well so they're hearing it in the strip club they want to hear it outside the strip club you know what i'm saying so we can literally do the same exact thing we had a suze we could have thought we would be we're doing that but it was too much negativity that was also being brought to the to the front lines okay. that ruined it for everybody. So we have to create a system where we can block that negativity out and have it safe for people to come here 
and really build their legacies and build their platform Absolutely. because we don't have one we like yeah. where everybody is wishing and hoping that one song makes it yeah it's just it's not, not gonna it happen works. yeah it's not gonna happen we, we gotta move we gotta like we, and that's why a lot of people go elsewhere because they go to the where the platforms are they go to atlanta they go to cali that's why they go to miami because they have platforms there they have the strip clubs they have the actual venues that people are going there to blow up. Yeah. We don't have that here. Yeah. And that's all we got to do. We got to create that. We got to build that new business. Absolutely, man. I, I definitely hear it. It's almost like to a degree to, to kind of keep, keep in the beginning stages to keep the riffraff out. It almost seems like it should just be invite only. So you know exactly who's coming. You know what it's going to be. And that's that you know it's it's the definitely things that we can think of to to create that platform and make sure that it's that it's safe because you know things get get twisted and flipped real real quick real quick so Absolutely. yeah i get it yeah man i hear you i hear you yeah man so songs parting words for the for the fans for the youth for the elders too because like the, my other my other charge is to create a better bridge between the generations. You know what I'm saying? Because like what I find is when I'm around the older generation, they they don't uh, understand the value of hip hop in general. Like, right. They, they don't see that that it's poetry. They don't see. Right. That, they don't see that there's there's young brothers and young sisters out now who have surpassed so many of the great. Have surpassed. You know, I'm I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but have surpassed <laughs> Langston Hughes, surpassed mm -hmm. Edgar Allan Poe, Shakespeare, surpassed them in oh, terms yeah. of uh, mechanics, in mm. terms of metaphors, oh, and yeah. in terms of you know the classics is the classics. You know, mm -hmm. like Langston Hughes is is greatness forever, classic. But yeah, what I'm saying right. is, we have Langston Hughes now. Langston Hughes is here, writing, creating, right, right, and right. So many times, the older generation. They devalue the great work that, um, especially yeah. in hip hop, that I'm hearing, and it's usually mm -hmm. just because they can't either they can't get past the profanity or they don't see, um, they don't see that that this person is is telling uh, the story from their perspective, what they've been through. You know what I'm saying? And what they've been through is grimy. What they've been through is like crazy stuff. It's a story. Yeah. That be told you know what i'm saying so my other my other task is to help create a bridge between the generations so people understand the value of of all the great work that that the younger generations are doing you know as creative i agree i agree 100 percent. and it's it's for both it's for both sides it's for the older generation and it's for the younger generation because that's where it's lost there's a gray area between the value of who really made the classics and who really made groundbreaking things and why we even are where we we're at today like if these people didn't do what they did at that time there would be none of this stuff that's happening right now like you know so it's like but a lot of people don't know about none of that like all they know is literally what they just see around them and what they hear and what they, what's on social media and what's like being played from their mom and dad or whoever they they live with you know that's their that's their bubble so we got to create a platform where we can you know what i mean bridge that gap and and you know let people know like the quality and the value behind these greats and the people we still have here that we can give them their flowers right now like you know what i'm saying like we could work with these people right now like a pete rock like you know like we could i, I smoked with him too one day by the way that was awesome like, <laughs> i'm like that's legendary like, but you know it's like we got them right here but people don't even oh nah he, he you know he washed up he doesn't that but little do you know he can go wherever he wants he can do whatever he wants in life and he's good forever but just okay. because he's not in this and that that you think is lit or you think is the now or whatever you think he's not valued yeah, yeah totally totally and and you know i, I definitely realize that like hip-hop is 
hip hop artists are the ambassadors and the entry point like to the youth, you know what I'm saying? Because they create value for a lot, like Royce the Five Nine. Like, I wonder how many people actually looked up Sarah Bartman, you know, and actually looked, actually, people who realize that the Ice Cream Truck song is actually from a very racist song, you know what I'm saying? It's that song that he has out, and you go and hear the lyrics to the song, and it's appalling, you know? And, uh, you know, so, you know, what I'm saying is, you know, hip hop artists are like, they are the, they have the reach to the youth, you know what I'm saying? They have the ears yep. of the youth. So whatever, whatever y'all say is like educational. They're going to buy into it. They're going to, they're going to want to know yep. more about it. So they, they, you know, if they don't know about Lynx and Hughes, maybe they don't. A, a rapper says something I, about Lynx and Hughes and now they're like, ah, oh, I want to check out Lynx and Hughes and they understand the greatness of him. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a lot, you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's definitely programming and it's definitely like why you think a lot of, you know, younger kids have guns even till this mm -hmm. day, like right now, like, you know, it's because they think that's the norm, you know, and now in society, things are set up in a way, in a sense to where you kind of have to have a gun. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, if you don't have a gun, you will literally either get in a bad situation or you will die. So it's sad. That's sad. But even it's like, because me, like, like I said, even with my situation, I never in life thought I would ever even have to, you know, have a gun or own a gun for what? Like, I do good by people. Yeah. But people still don't like to see you do good. They don't want to see you do better than them. Yeah. And honestly, a lot of people don't even know better. They don't have no guidance, no type of knowledge about anything. They don't even know. They didn't know who I was, too. Wow. Like, they only know what they knew. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. but little do you know, I'm the guy that's really in your corner, that's really trying oh, to yeah. break the barrier and actually do real good by you and be the person that you never had in your life like you know what i'm saying like for, and i don't even want the i don't even want the like you know the the what is it the uh the, the praise credit. for it the, yeah, praise, the credit yeah, it. The praise for it like you know a lot of people do things so that they can say they did it that's yeah. the sole reason why they did it yeah yeah that's not me like you know what i'm saying yeah so yeah. Last thing I like, you know, I'm gonna do is like, you know, I look up to Nipsey Hussle, and last thing I'm gonna do is go out like him. That's I'm it. not gonna go out like him, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm trying to build this shit up. Last thing I'm gonna do is have somebody from my corner yeah. or anything yeah. in even my color yeah. kill me. It's crazy because it's crazy. I'm trying to uplift people, like, yeah, it's bugged out. And it'd be jealousy, it'd be envy, and it's just like, for what, when, for what? Just for what, period. Yeah, yeah. You're directing it at the wrong person. Correct. And, and it just makes you think, what is it going to take for, for things to get right across the board, you know? Because we have these examples so many times of unfortunate situations happening, and it's like, yep. I don't know, it's, it's just... It's it's really it's bittersweet, you know. It's, yeah, it it sucks. it's like you know, it's like, you know, why do you know? Saying it's like we should be in these times, we really should be on some Black Panthers like stuff and oh, yeah. like like locking in, like you know Not what I'm saying? Fun. Like we need to be making sure our people is protected, bro, because yes. our people is getting taken. Human trafficking is still happening. Yes, it is. Like you Human know, people still happen. That. Yeah. And, you know, just because Six Nine came back and he's doing whatever with Nicki Minaj, a lot of people aren't even conscious to a lot of things that's happening right now, bro. Yeah, and that's true. why right now with this music shit, it's like, yeah, I do music, but I'm gonna trick people into really knowing what the hell is going on. I'm gonna take those elements from all the your favorite artists and I'm gonna do what they were supposed to do with it which was give you actual knowledge and information on how to move in life, like mm -hmm. how to not get got, how to, you know what I'm saying, not get arrested, how to, you know what I'm saying, if you lost somebody, how to go through that. Like, Absolutely. all of it.
Absolutely. That's that's dope. That's dope. And that's the other value of hip hop. So many times it informs some folks on how to grieve, you know, and how to how to process things emotionally and you know, just right. um, how to how to become more articulate and just tell your story, you know, like it, it, the value of it is is exponential in my mind. And um, and uh, you know, I, I really appreciate what you're doing. I really appreciate what you're doing in these songs and the album and music. Thanks, and, man, you know, for sure. And I also want to put out there too. It's like with the I want the older generation to know with the youth because I deal with the youth a lot. They just want to be heard, man. Like they don't want to be penalized or chastised off rip because they're young, younger than you. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you, you, it's basically like you're gonna get back the energy that you put out. So if you're trying to son or a little kid, a, a kid, he's gonna look up to you and not really respect you that much because it's like off rip. You're not even really giving me a chance to prove to you that I'm not just like all the other little kids, you know? Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like off rip, I already know like a couple, you know, younger, you know, like of the youth that basically that's just how they are. It's like, don't little bro me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause that's when I'll, you know, that's when I'll snap back. But Absolutely. if you cool, you giving me respect and you cool positive energy, I'm going to give you positive energy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, even still, there are those younger ones that just are lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> they just are just, they just, you know, they just gone. Like there's no turning back. You know what I mean? They, they, they gotta, there's something else. They gotta, they gotta get therapy. They gotta get, you know, some real work done. You know what I'm saying? Because it's real trauma. It's real shit that they've been through. You know, and I understand it. That's the, I'm a Libra, so I get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they, balance, but balance. Oh yeah, Libra balance. You gotta. When you tip my scale, that's when you know I gotta mm. I gotta defend myself. I gotta get on that type of time. But realistically, I want to be Gandhi and I want to be peaceful and I want to do good for my people. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. Very cool. You know. Um, yeah. yeah man. I got one more song I want to hear. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, it's called Mask On. Ah, uh, I like it. This is also a part of Rona season, you know what I'm saying? Because of, you know, we all got to wear masks and stuff. And basically, you know how Future had the mask off? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I just named it Mask On. Very so, clever. Yeah, it's always like, you know, a little play on my music. It's always, uh -huh. it's, it's never just done just because. Like, you know what I'm saying? Crippin' my mask on, niggas got Rona Don't need 50 niggas to fight, I'm alone Don't wanna hit you, we got my own, I'm a stone. Your bitch eat it up, yeah, she right on my bone I got her so high, my nigga, we sold No, she ain't coming back, nigga, I stole her Got me a pack and we breaking down boulders Talking that shit, you get hit in the shoulder Boom, all the witnesses, we're just Jehovah Need me a beat, talking billions like over Need me some beats, talking bills like yeast Came up on some racks, this shit is too easy My hood ain't pop yet, cause niggas too greedy Niggas be blind, they be looking like Stevie Some niggas, they ballin', but they in the dealie I whip it up, my wrist is on repeat Alex and the McQueen, messenger back, got it packed with the strap and some cheese. Gotta pay for the future, I don't do no free. My life is a movie, them racks coming three. Got digital racks, they ain't talking about VC, talking about crypto, talking about bitty. Niggas be whack, I'm the best in my city. My bitches be litty, my bitches be witty. When I perform, they just show off their titties. When I perform, niggas get turned with me. The weed that I'm smoking on gotta be sticky. Talk tough, then I back up the blicky. Hit him up, shot him nine times like 50. All these songs are flash like he took him a flicky. My right hand ain't Bob, but don't do no wit. And I make them dance, the bitches get jiggy. They all on my body. I gotta stay drip, I gotta stay flossing, got the game with me Smoking so much, man, I feel like a hippie Do my dance, got the nine on my hippie Cut some love, had to jump in the lift. I shot the bitch, cause she was too mixed Live on the edge, my life it be risky I took your bitch, yeah, she gon' leave with me Left the crib in my mask, on niggas got Rona Don't need 50 niggas to fight, I'm alone Don't wanna hit you, we got my own, I'm a stone. Your bitch eat it up, yeah, she right on my bone I got her so high, my nigga, we sold No, she ain't coming back, nigga, I stole her Got me a pack and we breaking down boulders Talking that shit, you get hit in the shoulder well, and, uh, Matt, yeah. honestly, I think yeah, I'm gonna definitely call it uh, Rona season, uh, second win. <laughs> uh, yeah.
Yeah. Because the second wind is hitting everybody already right now. It so is, man. It's some Charlie. people think it's over. I'm like, For nah, real. It's not, bro. It's not. Other states are losing their mind out there, like pool parties and no mask. And oh, just... yeah. Be- they're hitting the. But honestly, I heard the beach is actually good for you, though. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, naturally, like, you know, the sand and the salt and the, the, like, you know what I mean? The salt water. Okay. Like, that helps deal with certain things. So, technically, that shouldn't be bad. But if other people are infected and you're all in proximity, then there's no way you can really dodge that. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? If, yeah, I'm going to take, I'm going to play it safe, brother. Yeah. But I, I hear you, though. I'm 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 going a, I'm to a, I'm a try and hop on that beach when, when it's, like, really, really, like a you work day. All you got to do? You just gotta find your private beach. Yeah, you that's know. it. That's, that's it. it. Nobody else on that. That's Nobody just you. Else right. on it. Weekday too. Yeah, yeah. Facts. <laughs> oh, man, it's crazy out there. It's crazy. I can't, every morning you see on the news all the numbers spike and, you, and all the yeah. states in red and you're like, what? Yep. I, I don't know. Honestly, Mr. G, I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I, don't, I do not believe those numbers. Not yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. Nah, mm-hmm. one of them. And even with the protesters, not even one of them, because you know why? I know people that were actually protesting and not one of them actually took the actual COVID test at that time. Mm -hmm. So where are these numbers coming from? You're just throwing numbers out there at this point. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, there's no telling. There's no telling, man. Like, uh, and uh, all you can do is just, Take yeah. care of yourself or at the end yeah. of the day. Because you, you're right. You, like, you don't know. The, the, I, the news tries to be a credible source. But right. at the end of the day, you just don't know. You really you really just don't know at the end of the day. Um, so I, I get what you say. For sure. And, you know, like, you know, I, I, I'm definitely taking heed and moving accordingly. You know, I still got my, you know, my Lysol and, you know, my sanitizer and, all of that, my mask and everything, but realistically, I'm not going to just like block myself off from the world mm-hmm. or my family or anything. Cause certain people aren't seeing their family. It's like yeah, certain people yeah. are like really locked inside, like not seeing the world or life. Like right yeah, now they're yeah. like losing their mind. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 so and that's what they're trying to do. Like they're trying to make you lose your mind and they're trying to honestly, we got to think about it, Mr. G. The brain is a very, very strong and very mysterious, complicated, you know, thing, muscle, True. whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? True. So if you sit here and think for at least two weeks that you are sick and you do not feel well, even though you don't feel well, like, I mean, you feel good, like you're cool, like you're not, but if you think it mm-hmm. for two weeks straight, eventually you will get sick eventually you will like your body will just start shutting down in some all these ways and start to believe it so it's like certain to a certain extent like of course i'm I'm seeing people die and even people close to me like pass away from this stuff but i'm also doing my due due diligence and you know what i'm saying like i know yeah what's really going on there's a great quote um you just saying that made me think of a great quote and it goes something like the longer you stare into the abyss, the more the abyss starts to stare into you. And, uh, yeah, that, that is, that is fact. That is a real thing, you know, where, um, you become, you believe, you believe what you, you become what you believe you are, what you think you are, uh, you know, definitely, uh, that's, that's deep. That's deep. It's a lot of layers to that. Lot mm-hmm. of layers to that. That's all me, man. I'm all with the conspiracies. I'm all with the deep convos, man. Like, absolutely. As and that's what we do here. You know what I'm saying? On on uh, Mount Vernon Hip Hop Evolution, we just um, it's a great opportunity and and uh, for artists like yourself to to really tell their story and share their ideas and feelings and thoughts and and all that. It's just uh, it's a uh, complete open space to to uh you know for the people to become even better acquainted with you as an artist and who you are and what you're doing you know to really right. know really know sam swagger you know so i i i uh i, I appreciate your time i appreciate uh, i appreciate you for having me mr g
I will always call you Mr. G. I don't know. Hey, I, hey, I, it's all good, man. <laughs> Guys, man, to Mr. G, whatever, it's all good. Yeah. And uh, when you, 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 we definitely got to have you back on the show soon. Got to, definitely, Absolutely. definitely. Thanks Whenever. for being the first, number I one. Only one person can say that. That's a fact. And I, I plan to do this. Like I'm, I'm gonna keep on doing this because it's for important sure. to, um, it's important to to give great artists like yourself a place to just have these great conversations, share these stories and share these, this music. And um, so I, I'm, this, this is going to be around. This is going to be a regular thing. I love it, man. I love it, man. I appreciate it, man. And thanks, man. Keep doing what you do, man. Just keep being great. Absolutely. And I'm going to post all the socials, all of the playlists, all the albums, all that um, for, for all of you is to check out and, and hear you and support you. And um, you, you've got a, you got a lot of stuff. Nah, I appreciate Which is a that. great thing. I'm gonna post it all. So they, they're gonna have their homework homework cut out for them to, to get through your discography. Yep, yep, absolutely. They're gonna have a lot of fun, especially all my 420 friendly people. Oh, all you gotta hey. do is get some wine and you know, just roll up and enjoy the ride. That's, <laughs> it. That's it, that's it. Well, cool, my brother. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, and, man. Uh, and uh we look forward to having you back on real soon, real soon. Absolutely, absolutely. Anytime, man. Thanks for having me. Ain't nothing funny cause shit could get ugly when you gotta live up in NYC I was raised up in Mount Vernon and my whole city gon' ride for me Most of my niggas gon' slide for me, even got niggas that's really gon' die for me Cause I always do right by my people, so why the fuck y'all try to line me? I'm feeling like niggas be dusted, could never be trusted, uh I'm feeling like I go hard for my city, put nothing above it, uh I'm feeling like I'm smoking a half a zip just so a nigga could sleep at night I'm feeling like my city is lost, I'm ready to move out to take a flight Feel bad for these little niggas, they don't know how to pick a fight Was born in the lions, then playing with fire, man You step outside, you get hit with that fire, man Wait till it's dark, all you see is a spark, you get hit with that iron, man huh. Lucky I was sipping, caught a nigga slipping Pushed that nigga back, had to get my distance Little niggas tripping, eating when they shit Y'all just going outside, huh. little nigga go get you a bag But it gave you that eighth if you asked, huh like what? But it's Gucci though, I know where y'all live Just in case you thought you was low Y'all really some kids, put the blick to my ribs Now I hope you're ready for the smoke I hate I even got a ticket there We still getting killed by the pole po. Couldn't even call the pole po. In the stew had a hole, oh Niggas tried to kick down my door And I didn't even have my polio But the universe on my side They didn't get in, time was moving slow My guardian angel was on my side Soon be the blick, he about to be on go I am a star, you gon' need a scope I made the wave, you gon' need a boat Don't wanna hear nothing about nothing Y'all niggas be Bugging my shooters on sickle mode Bullets flash talking homicide Don't wanna hear all I didn't know But he didn't know Successful robbery Oh yeah Unsuccessful Ain't nobody stopping me Oh no Don't let all the choppers sing Oh yeah Cause niggas was trying